Alright. Hey everybody, it's Dale with Never Enough Diving. One of the uh, one of the main drawbacks for doing what I do with uh, so much diving and fishing and stuff is everything I have just gets completely uh, wrecked by rust and corrosion because uh, you know I'm in, I'm putting the putting the boat in the water two or three times a week and so I was looking at this thing here and it, I just had to replace my whole the whole uh, hitch receiver on my truck uh, I guess it's uh, about seven years old and it was just starting to rust and worry me pulling an 11,000 pound boat so had to buy a new receiver from uh, the dealer which was ridiculously expensive um, and I got a new hitch to go on it because the whole hitch was all rusted too and uh, I was gonna go buy a new one of these but I've seen some stuff where people um, you know take stuff like this clean it up paint it so I'm gonna see uh, see if I can do that with this guy so we're gonna hopefully show you how to turn this into this anyway let's get started and see what happens maybe it uh, maybe it works and maybe I just end up going and buying it somewhere anyway <laughs> so I'm gonna clamp it try the wire wheel. Alright, so I know I got a wire wheel somewhere, but one of the drawbacks to being uh, kind of a sloppy pick that I am is it's hard to find stuff sometimes. Just ask my wife. She'll tell you. Uh, anyway, I think I want to go to uh, go to Home Depot or Lowe's and maybe check and see what kind of paint they have that'll work for this and pick up a wire wheel for the grinder and get this thing cleaned up a little bit more also got to try to figure out what to do about the little the rust that's going to be inside wow there's a lot of rust falling off that um i'm sure i can come up with something to get in that hole so you clean the rust up. This is probably not the most efficient way of cleaning this up. Now we're getting there. be back with you in a bit all right so we're back at it with our pin for our Reese type hitch um, I always call it a Reese hitch I'm not sure if it's uh, I know Reese is just a brand I'm sure there's other brands I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what it's called if somebody knows what that's called uh, let me know in the comments but what I'm trying to do is get off the rust, get all the rust off of this thing. Now I've already had one person that would be Styx, our editor, who edits most of the videos and stuff here on our channel. Thinks that this is a huge waste of time because I can buy one of these for I think probably about ten bucks. Um, it's a galvanized pin. And I am probably wasting a lot more time cleaning this up and painting it than it, obviously than it would be to just go buy a new one. But sometimes, maybe it's just because I'm getting older, I just get irritated with our the throwaway society that we have here, and I feel like we forget how to how to fix things and make things better. And 
you know, we're going to throw this thing in the garbage. It's just going to end up in a landfill and rust away into nothing. Or I can clean it up and throw some paint on it. Um, I already have the sandpaper. I've already got some Rust-Oleum paint that I'm going to try on here. And uh, so the only thing that's really costing me to do this is some time. And I don't know. I like making videos, so I like making content. I don't know if this is satisfying enough to get on one of those satisfying videos, but I think it's kind of cool. And we'll see how it works. Works out. Mainly just wanted to try it. See what the deal is. You know, I could actually probably have it powder coated somewhere as well. But then, then I would be, I'm sure, more expensive than just buying a new one. Um, so anyway, I think, I feel like we need to not lose our ability to make things better and reuse things and stuff like that. In the world of Amazon and Walmart and stuff like that, it's just so easy to throw things away. Anyway, I'll shut up and sand here. sure if you can see on here but there's like a little tiny groove that must have just been wearing as a you know when you, when you stop and start with the boat this all kind of like shifts a little bit you can feel it with the truck when you take off there's a little bit of a it's also got surge brakes on it so I think all that has actually just worn that groove into it a bit so that's kind of interesting but uh, it's making it harder to get that rust out of there and I'm also going to have to figure out something. Hopefully you can see that hole. This is a hole where the cotter pen goes. And uh, I'm going to have to figure out some way of getting sandpaper in there to clean that up. And uh, some way of getting paint in there to get it protected as well. I think I'm going to get a fresh piece of sandpaper here. Be able to get this thing actually shiny or not it probably doesn't matter i'm just going to throw a coat of rust-oleum on it and use it again and see what happens i'll keep an eye on it make sure it doesn't rust out yeah, i need new sandpaper cotter pin's in pretty bad shape too but I'm gonna salvage that as well. I have this all-purpose uh, adhesive. I'm gonna try something for uh, getting into that hole to, for, and sanding. I'll show you in a minute. Maybe I should show you now before you lose interest. So I'm gonna take one of these, it's just a bamboo skewer, uh, and I'm gonna spray this adhesive all over everything, apparently. I should have done this other part first. Hey, it works. It's a fairly thin piece of sandpaper. I don't even know if this will work or not. I'm not even sure how much you can see. I'm going to fold it a little bit. See if we can stick it to here. My fingers are going to stick to it as well.
right now I have a little bit of ADHD. I have a hard time staying on one thing. And actually I think making videos uh, helps that sometimes because under normal circumstances if I wasn't making a video I would have started out doing this and I would probably be changing the oil on my truck by now with neither one of them. Well the oil change would get done but this probably would not have gotten done. So whatever works. Yeah, anyway, I already have the paint sandpaper. Uh, I'm also making a video at the same time. Uh, maybe I'll end up on one of those satisfying videos or something. Um, but anyway, I'm just sanding this thing down. And So I actually, uh, I don't know if we'll leave uh, the live in this, in the final video that I'm making here. Or I don't even know if this is ever going to make it to video, but if it does, um, I just did a live on um, TikTok. And it's kind of cool. I actually had like 600 something people watch it, um, which is amazing to me that people watch such stuff as such as this. But I do it too, so it kind of irritates me when uh, when I'm scrolling and I see somebody's live and kind of think it's a dumb thing to go live, but then I end up watching it for 10 minutes. I, I like interacting with people. But we're still working on this little uh i feel like that little that little bit of rust right there it's like it's like some kind of indentation well obviously it is because i'm having a hard time getting to it but it took up about two-thirds of this circle when i started so we're almost there so i'm having to remove probably a decent amount of steel to get down to it I don't think we're far away from actually being able to paint this thing. Um, 
we've come a long way. If you go to the back, uh, if you see the beginning of the video, it, it was, uh, this thing was pretty rusty. We've come a long way, baby. Hey, everybody. Uh, I remembered that I had a, I have a Dremel, and I thought it might have a wire, a wire wheel on it. So, it does. Um, but I'll have the safety glasses on now anytime you're doing something like this. Definitely want safety glasses, the power tools. We're gonna get that spot out. Come on. see any more rust on either one of these things so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, there's a little bit there I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning this up just a hair and I'm gonna set up to um, put some paint on it see what happens from there hey everybody I am going to if you saw my earlier live you saw the uh, what I was working on. These things were super rusty, and I got everything sanded down and grinded off and cleaned, cleaned up. I can't find any more rust on them, so I'm going to go ahead and paint them with Rust-Oleum uh, gloss black. Um, I spent a little bit extra time in here. I probably didn't need to. Um, it's a lot cheaper to probably just. Well, it's not cheaper because I, I I'm not. I didn't spend any money. I already had the paint, already had the sandpaper, already had the paintbrush. So I really didn't spend any money on this. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint this for you guys. And um, well, I'm just gonna paint it for me. But I'm videoing it for you guys. So uh, let's see how it goes.
this Q-tip because it's got a hole in it for this pin and I want to get the Rust-Oleum down in there. Make sure it doesn't rust down in there, but I also don't want to, the paint to be puddling up in it either. So I hope I'm going to try to move it. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'll just do the same thing on the other side. That's about it for this coat so we'll see you guys later <clears throat> all right we're doing the back side now so I'm gonna do this side and then I'm gonna let it dry and obviously put at least one more coat on here probably two more but it takes a while because you gotta let it dry between flipping it and let it dry between coats and blah 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 For the second coat. All right, back for another quick coat here. This is going to be coat number three. I'm losing track what coat it is. it is day two so we spent we spent a couple hours uh, sanding and grinding on this guy yesterday uh, you can still see the. I don't know if you get the camera can pick it up but there's like this little groove where it wore um, there's one here and there's one here and it's from where it goes into the end of the receiver just a little bit of wear. I mean, this is uh, this is actually a five eighths um, in diameter piece of steel, and they they come in half inch and five eighths. So this one's the heavier duty model. So I'm not too worried about the strength of it at this point. Um, I think I'm just going to put one more coat on it. So you can barely see that this side is a little darker. Um, so that's how I can tell right now where uh, this is the next side to be coated. Obviously, I'm coating half of it at once. You know, coat it, let it dry, and then flip it over. So, same thing with this. I'm still seeing a little bit of a uh, little bit of light area where the paint's not completely covering, and then on this side, it's it's much darker. So, those are the two the sides I need to coat again. And I think <clears throat> I think I'm gonna do this. Um, flip it and then flip it again so I basically have three more three more shots at on the paint 
and I'm, I'm trying to make it a little thinner with each coat. I really don't, to, don't want it to get super built up because um, I think the thicker the paint is, the longer it's going to take to, to dry. And it dries to the touch in about a half an hour. Um, but I think it takes probably at least 24 hours to, uh, to cure and maybe even, maybe even more. I'll probably give it a full, I don't think I have to use, um, the trailer hitch until at least until Tuesday and today's Sunday. So I'm going to give it, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna give it all day, so I'll probably be done like Sunday, like this afternoon. So I'll give it Sunday night, all day Monday, and Monday night to dry before I uh, put it on. I'm just gonna try. I'm trying. Gonna try to avoid, you know, obviously scratching the paint off when I when I hook it back up. So we'll see how it goes. So I also, I don't know if you notice, like whenever I finish with the coat, I scoot it around a little bit, both of them. I don't want it to stick to the paper and pull the paint back off when I go to move it later. So we're going to do this two more times. Um, and I'm doing all this talk and you probably won't hear any of it because I'll probably speed this video up uh, just to make it more watchable maybe i'll leave a longer version some people like watching this stuff so all right see you next time this is gonna be the last coat watch this far if you watch the video up to this point I would say get off the of TikTok and get a life but I do the same thing so it's all good see you guys next time